Live with Gethin Jones and Alex Scott reunited on the screen for the first time since Strictly. It is. You were you were dressed as Beyonce tearing up the dance floor last time I saw you. Oh, I take that. I didn't even make him say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can have it. A normal close tonight, though, and we've got a packed show for you this evening. If you're wondering what taking off for holiday abroad will look like this summer, and so many of you are, we have a film you do not want to miss. Yes, and from flying out of Britain to rip off Britain, we're going to be joined by Angela Rippon and Gloria Honeyford, and they're going to be telling us all about their new series. Yes, and as the tributes to Jack Charlton keep pouring in, we've got a lovely film we made with him a few years back now, in which he goes to his childhood home. It's a really special watch. And as always, if you want to get involved with the show tonight, please do. Uh, you can get in touch with all the things you can see on the screen at the moment. We'd love to hear from you. Good. So, get in, right? Yeah. We've got no Euros, no. no Wimbledon, and the sporting event we're missing this month is the Olympics. But don't worry if you're desperate for your sporting fix. Tonight, we are going to be joined by not one, but two absolute sporting legends. Two legends. Why, why are you confused? Well, I know the first one is Team GB hero Samo Farah. We'll be looking back at London 2012. And he'll be telling us why he's about to return to the track and attempt to smash a world record. OK, so the other might not be as decorated as yeah. Samo, but he did provide us with plenty of entertainment during Rio 2016. Legend, though. Legend. <laughs> Let's see what's going on over here. Looks like some sort of Hindu. Can we have a little look, do you think? There they go. Hello. 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 I'm Dan. What's your name? My name's Maria. We're BBC. BBC? BBC, yeah. BBC! 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 It is! Go. Dad Walker, I was going to say legend again, but Geffen's <laughs> having none of it, Dan. <laughs> Not well, having in that legend business. I know you've got Mo Farah on later. Uh, and, uh, it's from Alex about uh, Jack. He says, my husband John and I went on the World Cup reunion cruise and met most of the 1966 players in 2000. Jack Charlton was really lovely. Oh, and then I've got one here. My husband John and I went on the World Cup. Oh, you've just read that one. Yeah, I'm going to read yeah. Kelly's Stop email. Stop reading my email. <laughs> We do want to say a big shout out to all the travel agents also working round the clock, still sorting out amendment, refunds and making new bookings. And we can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. Superb stuff. That's all we've got time for tonight. Thank you for watching. But before we go, we wanted to let you know about some sad news. Yeah, Adele, one of our brilliant children in need rickshaw riders who helped raise over £8 million last year, has died of cancer at the age of just 18. She was such an inspiration to us all and our thoughts go out to her family and friends and earlier today Matt Baker who rode for many miles alongside her sent us his very special tribute we'll see you tomorrow hey team are we ready for this hello and welcome to the one show with Gethin Jones and Alex Scott we are live for the next half hour and with Boris urging us all to take a steak gorgeous aren't they uh, there's only one place to be this summer for EastEnders actor Lorraine Stanley and that's Albert Square yes they're back filming has resumed uh, so she'll be telling us exactly how that's working out as well as helping us to look ahead to tonight's classic episode now Get in. Mm -hmm. This is the week the world is going to see your kitchen skills. Yeah. I know you're starting to sweat over there, yeah, but if you that. want to see Palms. a real master chef in action, look no further than blind chef Thomas Williams. Don't miss the moment he finds out where they've arranged for him to make dinner for his hero. He's way more competent than me, I can definitely tell you that. OK, uh, if you've got any thoughts or comments on the show tonight, we'd love to hear them. Please get in touch with us online in all the usual ways on the screen right now. Yeah, well, our first guest tonight is no stranger to show social media. She is over 101 million followers on Instagram. Exactly. I know you're shaking your head because you want some of those. Yeah, I'd like some of those, yeah. It's even more on Twitter, actually. 108 million, that's more than Trump. Wow, and she's just passed 20 billion views. She has 20 billion views on her official YouTube channel. The first female artist to achieve this. It is wow. the amazing Katy Perry. Wow. She's live from a newly locked down Los Angeles. It's Katy Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Katy Perry on brand. You just say live from the newly locked down yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah, how's that? Yesterday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going into this whole like sad clown theme with smile, and so I thought I would bring bring a little fun fun to the day, babe. How are you? How was your? Did you have a restful night's sleep with baby bump? 
<laughs> I did. Um, I like to call her Kiki Perry sometimes. And uh, we hear that actually Thomas has already got a job offer. So well done, Thomas. The best of luck to you. Yeah. And thanks for all the messages that have been coming in. Yeah, Should lots you of yeah, Twitter emails, um, especially about Katy Perry. Wasn't she lovely? Oh, she's, she's great. She's good fun, isn't I'm she? A big fan. Uh, Tina says, I know you're a big fan. <laughs> Uh, she said, pregnancy looks so good on Katie uh, Perry, glowing. And Rob says, tell anyone that if they have a cuppa with milk and without sugar, it's called a Julie Andrews, a white nun. Oh, okay, same. Fine. Do you know what, actually, I like this one, because Karen um, on email said, I really dislike the term staycation. Oh. We nearly always holiday in our beautiful country, rarely going abroad, and I am now really miffed that people who never gave Great Britain a second thought when thinking of a holiday destination, suddenly, because choice is limited, there is better, it's better than nothing. See, some people don't like it. Yeah. I like that, being honest. Thanks, Karen. Yeah, good for you, Karen. And a quick one. That's it for tonight. Thanks to our guests, Katie and Lorraine. No show for us tomorrow because of the football of course but we will be back on Thursday with another one big thank you we'll yeah. see you then we'll see you then hello and welcome to your live Thursday one show with Gethin Jones I wasn't going to mention it but he did burn his cabbage on MasterChef <laughs> last night but we still love you we still love you it was you. terrible wasn't it mind you saying that you burnt your blouse before coming on here so <laughs> you have to stay in one position throughout the rest of the can't show can't believe you've just outed me like that oh no Alex Scott there with her iron uh, busy show tonight after weeks of changes to lock but it's not good news oh no but it is our favourite job of the week saying one big thank you to a local hero this time we meet a special special woman from St Ives. Here's the moment Nikki from Westlife gave her the surprise of her life. <laughs> Miriam Margulies and Elaine Page are with us throughout the evening. Good evening, ladies. There they are, all ready to go. But first, <laughs> this week, England followed Scotland in announcing fines for refusing to wear face coverings in shops. Um, Lots of people don't like wearing them, but there's also people who can't wear them for valid reasons. So when someone wearing a mask... ...just as usual, anytime soon. Thanks for that, Michelle. Well, a lot of you have been getting in touch. I want to read out Rob on Twitter. It says, keep your distance and worry about what you're doing, not what other people are doing. Bus and train drivers should not let people on the buses without a mask. I won't go out until everyone wears a mask, no question. That's from June. Thanks for all your messages. We'll see you tomorrow. Ellie Goulding and Bill Bailey, 7 o'clock tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>《And Alex Scott. And it's Friday. We want to send you into the weekend on a high. So we're stuffing the show with music, with laughter, a great couple of films and a couple of great guests. — Oh, where do we start? — Tell me. Let's, well, actually, let's start with the films, because okay. every picture tells a story. And soon we'll be hearing the funnier moving towels behind some of these cardboard cut-out football fans. Bit of a warning for you, this one is a tearjerker. — It is. And later, here's a sentence for you. We have a film featuring someone who we think might... And we're treating you to some brilliant guests too. They're both writers, performers and extremely talented musicians used to play into packed out arenas. But they have pretty different musical styles, I think it's fair yeah. to say, particularly when it comes to writing love songs. You're the light, follow me through the... the sound I heard in my lonely silent world was the rusty hammer of my heart. So lovely. A name with a compass in my forehead was not enough for you. Best mashup ever. Let's welcome Double Brit Award winner Ellie Golden. And in the words of Idris Elba, one of the funniest men alive, Bill Bailey. Woo! <laughs> Bill, hello. You look uh, a, a great mashup. I love the, uh, the, I love the, the mashup there. That was, oh, that Bill, was great. I don't look... know about you, Bob, about Ellie, but I thought it was good. <laughs> Hey, I, I loved it. It's given me quite a few ideas if you're, I don't know, is it maybe a bit too soon to start, you know? But yeah, I think it sounded really Clap. great. Yes, I know, I think exactly, yes. My, mine was a sort of, it was a little bit intense, I thought, though. I, I, I listen back to it now and I'm thinking, <laughs> nailing up the hatred in your soul. I mean, blimey, Bill, what sort of a day were you having? <laughs> has so many of us are really missing seeing music performances at the moment and we think <laughs> you're really going to enjoy this one <laughs> Alex Jones is back next week but now an especially recorded performance for the one show performing love i'm given from her new album brightest blue take it away ellie golding 
Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, from talking about animals, we need to discuss your new album. Uh, what took so long? I hashing things out, writing things down, um, playing guitar, playing bass, playing a bit of piano, um, and just, yeah, just like it came together slowly, but it was just really nice to not have any pressure this time around. And um, although it did get to about a year ago and people were saying, okay, right, you really need to bring out a new, new album. Mm -hmm. um, so, so obviously at the beginning of lockdown, that was when the album was due. And I think it was just a really chaotic time for everyone. So it wasn't quite suitable for them. But um, obviously it's out today and I feel like it's perfect timing and very excited. How were you feeling last night knowing it was going out today? Well, to Casper, did, did the marriage, did the wedding kind of inspire you with this album? I have to say that no, because, um, and not because it's not inspirational, but I can think about that stuff. So with that, I had, I had just, I just had so much to write about. And so that was just before and I had this sort of newfound lease of independence <laughs> and, you know, feeling great. And then I met Cass and was like, oh, God. you know, and then, and then I'm getting married. So, um, so just as I got to that good place, um, yeah, it all, it all, um, yeah. Um, but, um, but the, yeah, so the album is about those years of just, you know, thinking about the past however many years. Where is Hubby at the moment? Because obviously you're very busy now promoting the album. He's stu studying from... Going to the classes and then he had to do everything from home. So it's been a strange year for him. Um, he's got like five weeks left, but it feels like it's gone so quickly. Um, and yeah, so so then he will, he will start working. And um, yeah, it's just this year's gone very, very quickly. Hey, just thinking, when you look back at all the highlights and everything that you've already achieved and some pinch yourself moments, like you performed for the Obamas, how was that? How did you feel? I remember that much. Um, yeah, I mean, that was, that, was, that was really surreal and incredible. Um, Absolute pleasure. But Ellie's got one final treat for us tonight. She sure has. So many of us are really missing seeing music performances at the moment, and we think <laughs> you're really going to enjoy this one. <laughs> Alex <laughs> Jones is back next week, but now an especially recorded performance for The One Show, performing Love Ungiven from her new album, Brightest Blue. Take it away, Ellie Golding.